Straight out of beard oil. I wish I had some more. Hmm. What a day. Oh, what's up? What's up, everybody? Welcome back, or for your first time, to Faithfully Bearded. Today kicks off, or no, I guess it doesn't kick off. It kind of ends the month-long review. Are you ever, like, in the middle of doing something and that technology just quits? Like... Your mic dies in the middle of making a video. Well, that just happened, and I was gonna edit it all out, but I thought, hey, it might be more fun just to see the real struggles of making a video sometime. So today, part of the Beard Trends review, I happened to draw the RDS Man beard and mustache wax. So I'm gonna give you my thoughts on this mustache wax right now. So first and foremost, I love the label. I love the design that RDS Man has. It's super clean and simplistic. I like the labels. I like uh, on the back, you have the ingredients and the directions. You got a little twist top lid. I love me some twist tops. And then inside here, you have a nice white uh, wax. Now, a couple things with this. A, when I smell it, I don't get any of the wax, which is awesome. I get the scent profile. Uh, which is Bay Rum on this particular one, which is not my favorite. That aside, I was still able to test the product and its effectiveness without having to worry about the scent and not liking that. This is not a review based on scent. I don't like Bay Rum. That's done out of the way. This is a review on how the product works because Artius Man does have some good scents. See Midnight Ride. I love that scent and I get a lot of compliments on it. But Bay Rum, not my thing. But this wax, I love that it doesn't have the waxy scent to it. It just smells like the scent profile of the product that I have, which is nice. I love the packaging. I love the design. Let's talk about what I don't like necessarily. This is pretty soft stuff for a wax. Like I can get it out pretty easily with my fingernail. Um, and to me, when I do that and then I put it in my hand, I can rub it around really easy and melt it in my hand really nice and easy. That's not my style for a wax. When I'm looking for a mustache wax, I'm looking for something hard that is a little bit harder to melt down to hold my the ends of my mustache in place, especially if I want a handlebar and get them up. Um, that's This stuff just does not do it for me in that aspect of it. It does do well in maintaining flyaways on the beard. So I feel like it's a really good beard wax, but not strong enough to be a mustache wax. And I guess how that kind of could work is my beard hair is a lot longer. So the weight of it and the, the holding power of it um, doesn't necessarily need to be as strong as these short little prickly hairs that you have on a mustache. And then you're trying to curl them as to where this, we just have gravity holding it straight down. These, if you're trying to do anything and curl them up, um, you need something that's going to bond a little bit more and be a little bit uh, heavier of a hold. So I thought this was really well as like a beard wax and it is labeled as a beard and mustache wax. I just don't necessarily think it fits into the mustache side of things for me in particularly. But that's not to say it won't work for your mustache. This is just my opinion. And that's what I love about the Beard Trend Review Group is there's five guys. So we have five guys unboxing, reviewing and doing a live stream on one company all month long. The nice part about that is you get five opinions on five different products from the company. So you get to hear what five guys think about a certain company and make your judgment, your opinion, based off of five different opinions. I think it's a little bit easier to make your opinion that way because if you don't necessarily agree with me, but you agree with one of the other guys, you still might be compelled to try it out and hit on something. And we never really know which companies we're gonna like until we try them. So unless you have my exact opinion on every company, you probably um, don't necessarily uh, have my opinion on every company. So with RDS Man, overall, I reviewed the beard and mustache wax. So my opinion of the oil doesn't matter. My opinion of the scent profiles doesn't matter. I do have RDS Man. I just don't particularly like the mustache and beard wax for my mustache. I would use it as a heavy hold balm in my beard though. 
So, guys, tomorrow, check out Kaz wrapping us up for the Beer Trend Review group this week. The link to everybody else's channels will be below. And then Saturday night at 8 p.m. Eastern Time, right here on YouTube, we're going to go live, all five of us. We're going to talk about RDS Man. We're going to have a huge discount for you guys and do some giveaways. So I hope to see you guys there. Don't forget, tomorrow I have a review coming out, and Saturday night we have a live stream. Sunday on this channel is my normal live stream, and we're going to have some fun in that too. Maybe even a Q&A from uh, Maddie and myself. So I hope to see you guys all there. Until I talk to you guys again soon, grab that coffee. Mine's right over here on the desk. Grab your bang. I got a unicorn bang today because... I got a seven-year-old daughter, and she loves unicorns. Stroke your facial fur man mane, and God bless you all.